Hey, this is part two of Erica and Christina's horseback tour. As you can see, this place is a shit. I wish I could eat the food here, but I, but I can't. All right, so I already started recording for Erica and Christina's horseback tour part two. Are we ready? Yeah. Y'all done? Yes. All right. Yeah, that food, that food, the bomb. They got everything here. Yeah, you good. Just leave it there. Christina, so you said you've been out here before. Yeah, I've been out here because I used to um, deal blackjack. So oh, it was like a long okay. Time ago that I was wow. Like I think it was like inside. I see. Inside. Okay. All right. Um, follow me. Yeah, this place, the food is off the chain. I'm telling y'all, the food is something else. And uh, let me see. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure if they put that up for the judicial reasons or I'm not sure. I've only been working out here about six months. Okay. But uh, yeah, they're talking about this right here. Everybody gets a trip off this. So if, if I wear the one on the right, does that mean I get to go? <laughs> no, I'm just go. Anyway, do you ladies got to use the re uh, restroom before we go out? Uh, no, I think so. Sure? Yeah. Okay, because they're not going to be back for probably another 10 minutes, but we can head over there. Okay. All right. So did you get that picture, picture of me and Joe Jackson? Yeah, I liked it. You know what's so crazy? My you know, I know him personally. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, please. It's funny because I have his number on my phone. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I want to talk to him, I can talk to him or whatever. Yes. But he's, mm, he's kind of weird. He is weird. He's a little really? weird. He yeah, is. Because, like, I, I would call him. I'm like, hey, how are you doing, you know? Uh-huh. And then, like, one time he was like, what do you want, money? And I'm like, no, I'm just trying to be Oh, nice. yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't blame, you know, yeah, cause people. Yeah, because he is. Yeah. You know, it's tripped out when we when I was sitting over there talking with him. Uh, I was trying to tell the folks from Chicago that I was chilling with Joe Jackson, and it was like, "Nigga, you lying." I'm like, "Why y'all saying it?" And so my brother was like, "I think he's saying that Chip." They called me Chip back home. I think he's saying that Chip because y'all got wax museum is written right above y'all head. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you don't understand. That's just yeah, sure, sure. I'm like, okay, whatever, y'all. So you haven't, uh, Christina, how long was that ago when you was out here doing a blackjack? You all read and stuff. Huh? <laughs> huh? Um, this was like around in 2013, I believe. Okay. Well, yeah, so I was doing the blackjack. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you showed me a picture of your sister mm -hmm. back in the day, I remember. So how have you been, Erica? Good. Okay, it's so good to amazing. see you. Huh? Oh, cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It is. It is. I didn't cold. even think it was gonna be like this cold, but it is like yeah, super cold is. up here. Jesus. It sure is. I can bring the girls up here. Oh, you my phone? Well, let's stand over here towards the sun. Okay. It's a little bit. It helps a little bit. Actually, you know what? I gotta have you fill out these paperwork. Let's get that over with. Hey, Hannah, I got two more. This is a very interesting situation because I used to work with uh, Erica here. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I didn't know. I just saw her on the list this morning. Uh-huh. And she and did. So she just surprised you today. She yeah. surprised me. Well, yeah. you know what's funny is that um, I work at Viator and, like, I didn't know if I was fully confirmed or not. Okay, so when he I'm like, is me, that a nice dog? I was like, what is he Yeah, that's, uh, that's and Lug Nuts. like, you're okay. on the list for me to, I just have this. For me to pick you up, and I was like, oh, oh, I Lug Nuts. Confirmed, you know, because I would have missed the whole thing. Lug Nuts, yeah. come here, boy. Come here, boy. They told me you don't have to be a mental or four people. Yeah. I always want to say hello to everybody. Yeah, he's wonderful. Four-year-old pit bull. Well, there's 10 out there right now. Oh, okay. They gave the option of riding on the 10th and feet in the night. Oh, okay. I yeah. think this is the closest I've ever been to a pet. Really? Yeah. yeah, he's so nice. We love him. Right, Lug Nuts? We love you, boy.
we won't see them out there. They are hibernating right now. But it's just for uh, BLM's Peace of Mind Bureau of Land Management. And uh, this last one right here is a hard hat waiver. You guys are more than welcome to use hot helmets if you want to. You do not have to, though. Um, I have read and understand the above waiver on the top line, so I'll the rest of the information below. I'm glad you don't want to wear helmets because yeah. it would take a long time to fit it over your <laughs> hair. <laughs> yeah. I have a hard time fitting the larger sizes on my head. I don't have near as much hair as you. Oh, and then, if you guys aren't wearing helmets, I need you each to fill out one of these. I have read and understand the above waiver for all the rest of the information. Okay. Right it's cold. It is. It's freezing. Good thing the sun is out. Mm-hmm. I should have worn jeans. Eric, I sent you a YouTube vid earlier. It was these girls who, they came out here when the sun wasn't out and it was raining. Oh my and, gosh, and it was God. colder. And I don't know how these chicks did it, but they did it. They were what? They got on these horses when it was like raining oh, and colder than this uh -huh. and coming down. And these women got on those horses. So I did a vid about them at the end saying, calling them brave ladies. Yeah. Wow. Uh-uh. I wouldn't have done it. Uh, me neither. I'd be like, Shit. Um, you might as well reschedule me. That's right. That's what it's going to be, a reschedule. I wouldn't even have did it if they wouldn't give me a refund. I'm not getting on no horse right, exactly. all cold. Cold, freezing, and raining? Right. I know. I'm having like a little anxiety this morning. So oh, no. Not not the anxiety again. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to get... You know I quit my job. I leave on Tuesday, officially. Well, I don't even know what you're doing. So. A trip advisor. I trip decided advisor. I'm going to focus on my health and eating right. And yeah. Telling you about that stuff. And right. Everything. So I'm like officially done. No more... One more job. Like, I'm tired. Yeah, I hear you. I want to take a break for a while and like focus on myself and finish writing and do something I'm actually more passionate about. You know? Right. Well, you know, I have I have what they call leaky gut syndrome. What's that? Uh, well, I've had it since I was 16. I have, if you can imagine, like these little tiny holes in my stomach, and so when I eat certain proteins, and if they get they go through those holes, they get into my bloodstream. They give me hives and all kind of problems. So I, I only can eat certain foods. See, you know what? I always remember you Yeah. all the time. Like even like at my job and stuff, I always tell people how like how you're always eating healthy and how you're always like advising me to eat good and cleans out my system yeah. and stuff like that. And, like, right. Your aura and your chakras and that's stuff That's right, like that. that's right, the chakras. Yeah, yeah we have plenty of conversations we about do, that. all the time. Well, you know, I'm the same old person. I believe I was born, you know, I don't think it's something I just found in a book and say, oh my God, I got to tell the world. No. You know, I think we're just kind of born this way you yeah. know well, you don't find stuff like uh, but I'll be honest with you all I've yeah. all I've eaten the whole month is mm -hmm. cashews and watermelon yeah you were telling me that's it I yeah. don't I'm 140 pounds but I feel really good so I weighed myself this morning was saying I was 155 pounds and I'm like mm -hmm. no I need to get back to my 130 135 well you know Mayweather is only 145 you know that right no. Yeah, Mayweather's 145 pounds. He was 135 most of his career when he was, you know, coming up. Yeah. Um, He's really good, Christina, like, as far as, like, cleaning out your system. Like, he is, like, amazing. Like, yeah. I'm not even kidding. He doesn't eat, like, no bad food. No nothing. No yeah, bad food. and I wish I had had the knowledge that I had now that I, in high school, because, you know, oh, yeah. I'm 30, I'll be 37. Yeah, I can still dunk a basketball, which I'm going to do a YouTube vid of me, because people are telling me I'm lying about that now, so now i got to do a YouTube vid about it. But no, I appreciate the compliments, ladies, and uh, you know, I went through a lot health-wise, and I finally reached a point where my diet is okay. Okay, have you ever yeah. heard of um, black seed oil? Yes, I used to buy that. Yeah, I'm going to start drinking that. My mom... Um, uh -huh. It helped her with that, and she lost so much weight. Yes, like, yes. And her foot went down because she has. A oh, uh huh. So she doesn't have. If they like people would think she had cancer, but she doesn't. Yes. But her foot went down and everything. So. I also have a video on my YouTube page. Um, Hi, you're very handsome. Me making colloidal silver what and colloidal gold. I, uh, you can actually make a silver or gold solution by just using pure silver or gold. Put it in distilled water. Uh, you hook it up to batteries and, and let the, the uh, elements leak off the rods into the water, okay. and this helps 
like really just um, oh, you're much like better you don't now. get colds anymore. I haven't had a cold in probably five years, ever since I started taking this colloidal silver. Wow. And what did that, what did the Egyptians used to deal with that stuff? Well, we are Sorry. Exactly. There you go. There you go. See, so we got a conscious sister here, y'all. So you know. Yeah. Yes, I got friends here. That's wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So you'll. Um, I read about. Did you read about um, hidden colors and? Yes. I love Tariq Nasheed, all that stuff. It yep. blew my mind away, and mm -hmm. like things that I actually see now, I'm like, this is not how it's exactly supposed to be. Like, yes. they don't tell us the whole detail. And there's certain things, like I was reading yesterday, how they had, um, back in slavery, mm -hmm. slavery camps for women, where they would bear babies. Yes, breeding, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I literally cried as I was reading it, and I'm like, I didn't even know, like, I didn't yes. know this. Yes, yes. You know, I wasn't even knowledgeable of mm -hmm. this really happening. I just right. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's that guy's mean, but he won't. He don't do nothing either. He's mean. Yeah, that's that's old meanie. You think the pit bull's supposed to be the bad one? It's that one. But no, it's it's really good to talk to conscious sisters. I got a friend named uh, Rollo that's coming from Brooklyn, uh, April first, and I'm hoping we can do an interview. We're gonna uh, do the Sterling brunch buffet at Bally's, which is ninety dollars per person. Okay. And I would love to treat you you and anybody else you want to bring that's just conscious and want to have a sit down but this brother coming from brooklyn real powerful brother I, I don't know i think he's some kind of prophet he was in a coma i think he had some health issues in the past he had a coma uh situation and i think when he came out of it i think this guy is a little like type of prophet uh he started yes god would end up you know taking a person who's not like all the way you know you know, they, they're there, but not all the way there. Yes. But then when you wake up, you're like, you know, God just starts flowing within you. That's right. Tell anything. That's right. Because I'm a, like, honestly, I'm a prophetess. I don't mm -hmm. tell anyone. But that yes. is my gift and that's my calling. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I used to be a youth pastor. Mm -hmm. You know? And, all right, folks, um, you praise going to fetch your bag. Thanks that's, for coming you know, and riding with me. But, yeah, Thank I would love so to much, come. Sir. Wonderful. Well, I'm treating. With me. Enjoy um, your Breakfast. Yeah, I, I really want you guys to meet this brother from Brooklyn. Um, but go ahead, what were you going to say? No, I also would like you to come on to my TV show that I'm going to do. Absolutely, also, I would love to. Um, me and my I mom. would love to. No, no, I'm serious. Me and my mom's going to start my TV show out here. Okay. And um, I'm not going to say the name, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to get a lot of ratings. Cause wow. Have a lot of, a lot of stuff. Well, and you know how we got to be careful, too, with our stuff that we know, because not everybody wants yep. to we'll receive it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's the problem with me right now I'm dealing with. I want to go tell my family. I want to go tell these people. And it's like some of the stuff you cannot really tell everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would definitely like to... Uh, well, do an interview if you would like to interview. Yeah, me. no, of course, because I'm trying to do that. Mm -hmm. And then I know, I know it's crazy. Hit um, new additions coming out here. So mm -hmm. That's one of our, <laughs> you know. So I'm trying to get a lot of. Like my my main thing is like getting a lot of black people together. Yes. I don't say African yes. American because that's not original. That's correct. Or who we that's are correct. At all. Why you didn't tell me about this girl? This girl. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Okay, yep, ladies, I will more. see you in an hour. Okay. We will talk. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Have fun. Yes, thank you.